Today we're taking yet another look at the France toilet paper oil filter and going to consider the question what stops the oil from simply coming up the tube down next to the cardboard tube and bypass essentially bypassing the bypass filter returning to the engine without going through the toilet paper I've got a couple of empty toilet paper rolls here we'll take a look at imagine if this is the toilet paper roll it comes down and if it comes all the way down the cardboard tube is inside of this little fence and it's my assertion that if you can get the the roll to smash down over the fence with the cardboard tube inside the fence the prospect of any bypassing is minimal. However, lately I've been packing the toilet paper into the canister very tightly and that may be unwise in reflection. Since if the toilet paper is packed tightly in the canister it might be standing up here never coming down and getting inside of the fence never coming down and contacting the screen. Taking a look at the toilet paper I just removed, there is, unfortunately, no evidence that this came down and touched the screen. This line here may or may not be that fence. It certainly hasn't made a, a perfect circle there. Some of this distortion may have occurred after it came out, but back when I was using the very small diameter loosely packed rolls, this would all have a crosshatch pattern created by that screen that screen. And I now believe that there's got to be some optimal looseness of the toilet paper packing such that it moves down and contacts the screen. Additionally, from eBay I have obtained these spacers. I'm going to need both hands now. So the idea here is this drops over that center tube on the filter. Your toilet paper drops over that. I got these on eBay. They were two different sizes. I ordered one of each. You can see this has a very thin wall. This has a thicker wall and that's to match the toilet paper that you're using. Now what I can see right away is there's no way I'm going to get this toilet paper over this spacer. This is the Scott 1000. And this fits in there but it's not a snug fit. But what I am counting on with this spacer this cardboard tube in this area is more likely to come down squarely on that circular fence. So a combination of the spacer and a reduced snugness of the roll in the canister housing to reduce any bypassing that's going on. I'll take a moment right now and slip this onto the car. It's got a number here, it says 1.6, I'm not sure what that means. But that will go on there like that. And again, I'm counting on this, if not to create a seal with the cardboard tube, to center the cardboard tube better so it gets inside the fence. 
And if you truly were sealed on the cardboard tube, I think it would just rip. I mean, it has no significant anti-burst strength. <clears throat> so again, here's our city recycling bag and our old toilet paper roll. This metal ring is said to stop any possibility of the oil coming down the outside of the canister and not getting filtered. This hook allows me to pull the old toilet paper out. And again, this was in there very snug, maybe too snug. So here's our old roll. We'll keep the hook. If I could just get this open, there we go. So the city will pick that up like it was an oil filter. And we'll move back to the truck hood. Before I forget about it, when I got this spacer, it came with this little brochure, so I'll, I'll give a plug to Ed Greeny. There's his phone number. Maybe he'll attract some new business. So now the challenge is to figure out how much of this to peel off. Hey there. So it can the oil pressure can push it down against the screen is what I'm trying to achieve here. In the past, and you can see in some of my earlier videos, I packed this in extremely tight, thinking that would create better filtration, but it might be that that increased the flow that's not going through the paper, but is going, following the cardboard tube and missing the paper. Now this, I think I'm getting close here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I always forget to put the, the hook in. I'm going to peel off a little more. Because in 3,000 miles, when I change this again, I really want to see a, a definite screen imprint. Mm. Alright, this will be the last thinning of the roll. So I've got the hook. I'm going to put that in. It's a free fit now. And it'll go over that spacer that I... Yeah, I've got to put the, the ring back in here. Keep the camera on the filter. I'm going to grab the, I'm going to grab the spacer again. Just keep the camera there. So when I put the canister back on the on the mount, it's going to go over the spacer just like that. And we'll see in 3,000 miles if I get a good imprint of a screen on here, if the fence is bitten into the paper here, and I believe those two uh, will indicate a good fit and a minimum of again bypassing this bypass filter. If you have any questions be sure and leave a comment. Be sure and watch my other videos as well. Uh, you can see how this is reinstalled in my other videos. I'm not going to include that here. Thank you.